What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I apologize if I'm sounding super sick. It's because I am, but don't worry about that. We have an awesome video for you today. This actually came out a couple of hours ago. I was originally going to make a different video, but I had a similar idea in my idea book talking about creating some of these easy RGB effects. I'm going to show you how to do something like this where you have it kind of cycling through. Here's another example at the end here. I'm also gonna show you an easier way to do this in Adobe Premiere, as well as an alternate method from what I'm about to show you. So stick around to the end to see the Premiere easy version, and let's hop right into Adobe After Effects to get started. As always, if you guys are new here, consider subscribing. Leave a like if you do enjoy. It helps a huge amount with the YouTube algorithm. If you need any presets, plugins, and video editing assets, check out my website linked down below. And also I have a part two plan for this video where we dive more into this. If you guys wanna see that, let's try and get to 1000 likes on this video. So let's get right into the tutorial. I'm gonna download some stock footage from pexels.com. Let's get something like somebody drinking so we can have a specific object we can target for that rainbow effect. So let's double click on our footage here and you wanna make sure you're in a layer and not a composition. If you're still in a composition, just double click on it again and then go ahead and grab your roto brush tool. All right, and now we can just draw around the area we like to isolate, which is this bottle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw this. So to modify this mask, you hold down alt on your keyboard to turn that red and then you just draw to cut away and you wanna get this purple line around the area area that you're trying to mask. We can also pop over to our effect controls, bump up the feather a tiny bit. Once you have your selection, you click page up and page down on your keyboard to move frame by frame. And what we want to do is just make any adjustments. So for example, if I go to the next frame and you see this is cut away, we'll just kind of draw that back in and then just keep repeating those steps, moving frame by frame for however long you want this to go. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And with Roto Brush 2, the more we go along here, the easier it should be. You see it's holding that general area. So we're just going to make a couple easy adjustments. And you see here as I go along, I haven't even made any adjustments on these frames. The algorithm with Roto Brush 2 is just really locked on now. So I'm just going to keep going for as long as I'd like. All right. So once you're happy with your selection, this little gray bar over here in the bottom left, you're going to want to grab that and end it wherever you'd like. So this is the selection for how much you want to freeze in your rotoscope. Same with the left side. We start at the very beginning, so we don't have to trim that. But if you need to trim that so it starts at that little square and then go ahead and click this freeze button. All right. So once the freeze is complete, switch back over to your composition. You guys will now see the area that we we've isolated. You can shift edge. You can reduce chatter if it's a little bit too shaky, but that's looking pretty great. So now let's go and bring back our original footage now that we've isolated this. So we're going to select this layer in the bottom left and click control D to duplicate it. Now on the bottom clip here, we're going to go up to our effect controls and delete the roto brush. And then we'll right click and let's rename this to background. And then this top layer here, this is again our isolated layer. So we'll rename that to isolated. So to create that rainbow effect, there are a couple of ways to do it. I'm going to show you some alternate ways once we get into the next two methods, but an easy way in After Effects is just to use the colorama effect. And this is exclusive to After Effects. So we will use a different method in Premiere, but go ahead and just slap that colorama effect onto isolated. You're now going to see how we have this thermal looking effect going on with our water cycle through different colors. We're going to go ahead and open colorama input phase. And then there's also the output cycle that we can open up. So output cycle is pretty much just choosing these different presets or changing around the look of the colors that you're going to get in here. So you can use negative hue cycle, which is the more thermal looking one, RGB. And then of course you can manually change these around. So let's just put this on hue cycle. You guys can experiment if you'd like. And then we're going to go ahead and just add a little keyframe to to add animation to this phase shift so it cycles through different colors. So at the very beginning here, we're going to go ahead and just click this to toggle animation. And then we're going to scroll to the very end when our rotoscoping runs out here. And we're gonna go ahead and just crank this value by just dragging it to the right. But now you see as we play, you're having that cycle in the color going through. Now, because this is pretty harsh with how this is applying to the bottle, if you want this to be a little more light or if you want it to glow, one great thing to do is take your blending mode here and just change it around. Maybe something like add, screen, lighten. It's really up to you guys. You can get some cool alterations just by playing around with that. You can also click T on this layer and lower the opacity if you don't want it so harsh. And then to finish this all off, let's just add a stock After Effects glow. Or if you have any plugin, you can apply that, but let's just apply glow here. And then in the stock After Effects glow, we're gonna take the glow radius here and just bump that up. That's a little bit too of intense of a glow. You can lower the threshold or raise it. You can mix and match any other effects. Um, I think they had a Sapphire Trails on there in the original music video. If you have the Sapphire pack, so now you have that little trail going through there. 
Alternatively, if you don't have Sapphire, you could just use Echo. So that's the main gist of it. Now I'm gonna show you an easier alternative to doing this in Adobe Premiere, as well as another little trick that you can use in After Effects for creating something like this without having to do all the rotoscoping. So while Premiere is loading up, I just wanna remind you guys, you don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing and just paste it onto your videos. There's a lot of room to experiment with this. Um, I changed the preset palette here to negative and you still get some really cool stuff. So don't be afraid to experiment. My goal isn't just to teach you how to copy different things. It's to expose you to some of the tools you can use and then you apply your own creativity through that. So let's hop into Adobe Premiere here. All right, so in Premiere, let's go ahead and create a new sequence. And I'm gonna use the RE 1080p preset here, the one I'm always using. I wanna give a quick shout out to killyoa.mp4. His video that he made on creating rainbow effects in After Effects is what inspired me to kind of create this version in Premiere. So I wanna give credit where it's due. Awesome video doing this in After Effects. We're gonna take the same sort of reasoning and just try and apply it to Adobe Premiere. Ultimately, what you wanna do for a quick RGB rainbow effect, you want to duplicate your footage. So hold down Alt, and then click and drag it up in a video layer above. And now you just need to key out some part of this video and then RGB the bottom. So to do that, what we're gonna do is, let's go to our effects and presets here. There's a bunch of different linear key, color key, key light effects and after effects. In Adobe Premiere, I like using the ultra key, but you guys can experiment with color key. So you want to select a specific color here and then open up your matte generation here and just change these settings around. And it may be hard just to see what you're doing here. Let's apply some RGB to the bottom so that we can have a better idea of what we're ultimately trying to do. So on the bottom, since we don't have Colorama in Adobe Premiere, you guys can use some alternatives such as a four color gradient, you just drop that there and now you see how that's kind of bleeding through. With this, you can change the points and kind of handcraft where you want the specific colors. You can change the colors that you want in there. So before we clean everything up, cause it's super ugly looking right now, to cycle these colors, what you need to do is look up a little HLS effect and drop that on your bottom clip. And then at the beginning of our timeline here, we're gonna go to our hue and just set a keyframe. And then we're gonna drag and then just crank this value up. So now you're gonna see how our colors are changing and cycling through. If you want, you can add a little bit of saturation or lightness in there if you want to adjust anything. Now let's just go back and adjust our key. So I'm gonna switch off of ultra key. Let's maybe go to color key so that it's not as all over the place because there's a lot of gray and brown in this. We wanna work with one specific color that we can isolate. We could try with the green in the leaves here. Just take your color tolerance and bump that up. And you see the more you bump this up, the more it's going to affect everything. You wanna take your edge feather as well and just smooth everything out. So that's a quick way if you want everything RGB. Again, if you wanna keep it more subtle, just maybe do a little bit of adjustment there and then add some feather. Now you're gonna see only things changing in the green in the scene. It really does depend on your footage. It's going to look and work better on footage that has one specific color that you can isolate. But as you can see, just by doing those quick little steps in Premiere, you're able to have that quick little rainbow bleed through with your footage. So very quick, very easy. You can do it in Premiere. There is no Glow plugin in Adobe Premiere, but I actually have a Glow preset on my website. So if you're interested in that, link down below if you wanna check it out. It's in my Effects Pack 2.0. And back in After Effects, again, like I mentioned, killyoua.mp4. Check out his channel for that full tutorial. But essentially, it does the same thing where you duplicate a layer. So we'll do it with the background. You go and apply some sort of key effect, like a linear color key, and then you select some sort of color. So we'll take off this blue in a shirt and we'll bump up the matching tolerance. You can't see anything because we have this below here, but if you were to go and apply Colorama or a four color gradient, just like we did in Premiere, and just make some slight adjustments, there's the method in After Effects if you wanna go that route. So hope you guys did enjoy. Again, leave a like if you wanna see that part two where we go more in depth. We've been doing a lot of these easier beginner tutorials. My next video will probably be more experimental stuff. I have this video planned on creating VR immersive environments only using After Effects, so I'm excited for that. That applies to music videos, NFTs, whatever is you're making i don't think it's talked about enough as always guys if you guys do enjoy please leave a like comment subscribe thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for supporting and i'll see you guys in the next one